Hey buddies, Sunnut Sky here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we are going to teach you how to drink in RL Craft 2.9. Not just that though, we're going to teach you a lot of different stuff about drinking, how to avoid parasites, how to avoid the thirsty debuff, what items can be the best to get you thirst levels and hunger levels together, all the different ways that you can purify water, and various other bits and pieces to do with drinking in RL Craft. All right, so um, first things first, we can obviously drink from water. And if you're going to want to do that in any open water source, you have to be pretty much one block away from the water source block, crouch, and just right click into the water. That's how we're going to be giving, uh, getting thirst uh, in the very, very early stages, potentially. There you go. Now, it's going to give us that thirsty debuff, and it also has a chance of giving us parasites. Parasites last for 60 seconds and do tick damage periodically over those 60 seconds. They can be quite a pain in the butt. But this is the this is the most basic way of drinking. Just crouch, right-click into a source block of water. Got to be like one block away from it. And that is the most basic way to drink an RL craft. But it's not very good way to drink because of the fact that you're going to be getting thirsty, which is going to make you have to drink more frequently. And you're going to get your, your parasites, which is potentially going to be quite bad for you. So we're going to look at some early game solutions. Now, the earliest game solution is probably just going to be foods that provide both water and food. So we're just going to give ourselves a uh, hunger and thirst here so we can eat a couple of these. And the melon I found is the absolute best. The melon's amazing. So the melon is one of the only foods that I found that you can eat that actually gives you more water than food. So if we pay attention while I eat these, I think this is giving me one and a half water. Yeah, it's giving me one and a half water and it looks like one food. So this is, uh, this is really, really good. It's one of the only foods that's really easy to get. You know, it's easily farmable. Uh, that'll give you more water than it does food. Grapes have been nerfed, and they only give you half a value of water now. Uh, so having glistening melon, uh, or having melon, sorry, and then just having maybe a little bit of extra food to make up the difference in food value that you'll need because this gives you more water than food. So that's the early game food solutions. You've also got things like carrot soup, which I've got a guide on carrot soup for you. Um, so yeah, early game uh, apples are also quite decent, but melon seems like the absolute best option for early game hydration food, if that makes sense. One of the other early game solutions that you can have is by purifying water bottles. Water bottles stack up to eight, which is really nice, and then you can just pop these eight into a furnace. And this will, this is a Sincinocyte Forge, which is basically just an upgraded version of a furnace. Um, and this will uh, give you purified water bottles, which you can drink. Now, just to double check here, how much value, uh, water value these give you. We've got two bottles here. They give you three per, which isn't too bad with them stacking up to eight. That's 24 thirst values. That's going to get you all the way back up to full at least twice. Um, I mean, considering the fact that you never go down to, you know, you never go down to zero, really. You probably go down to around the three mark. So that's going to get you back up to full at least three times. Uh, so that's pretty good. That's really nice that it does stack up to eight. Makes things really nice and easy. Another thing that you can do is canteens. So there's different degrees of canteens. Remember, guys, you can always check your JEI on how to craft these things. Um, but they're quite easy. This is just six leather. This is this, is this plus six iron. Um, so it's pretty pretty cheap to make. Fill them just by right-clicking. Now, this is a unpurified water canteen. I will get thirst, and I can get parasites from drinking this. Uh, pardon me? There you go. Okay. I, don't know. I was being a little bit weird there for a second. But, uh, yeah, I drank. I got thirst. Uh, and I can get parasites this way as well. I believe. Although it looks like we're getting lucky. There you go. There's the parasites. Now, there's another little trick, guys. If you ever have parasites and you want to get rid of it, you can do that by, you know, if you drink from here or if you drink it from a canteen, whatever the case may be. Guys, you can actually use milk. If you use milk, it'll get rid of both thirsty and parasite. But remember, it'll also get rid of any other buffs that you might have as well. Uh, so just be aware of that. But yeah, you can literally just have a cow at sort of near where you drink from water. And just use a uh, uh, milk to get rid of the parasites and the thirsty debuff, which is really really nice. 
We've also got uh, charcoal filters. I probably shouldn't have thrown away my canteen. We also have charcoal filters. Now, charcoal filters are quite cheap to make. You use uh, two paper and one charcoal to make three charcoal filters. You basically just, this is an unpurified water canteen. I'm gonna pop this in here and it becomes a purified water canteen. And this purified water canteen has eight drinks, I believe. It's either eight or six. One, two, three, four. I mean, look, uh, I think it's six. Yeah, we've passed, we've definitely more than passed the halfway mark. So it's six drinks in there. Um, so you can get 18 drinks from two paper and one charcoal. Uh, again, quite a decent and easy solution, pretty cheap, not that much of a pain in the butt. Coming to the more late game or mid game solutions, uh, this is the Dragon Canteen. The Dragon Canteen is absolutely pog. The Dragon Canteen is crafted with a Dragon Skull of any size, so you can literally use your Tier 1 or Tier 2 Dragon Skulls that you just found on uh, bodies and you know snow biomes or the desert or whatever the case may be and the uh, dragon heart So you will have had to have killed a dragon to be able to get the dragon canteen uh, But as soon as you have it's really nice you fill it up in the water here uh, And this automatically purifies guys auto purification. It's wonderful So I can literally just drink this no no worries of thirst no worries of parasites And I don't have to do anything special it literally just insta purifies which is lovely Cauldrons have also been upgraded in RLCraft 2.9, so that there's a few more uses. In fact, the 2.9.1 uh, update just added an additional feature as well. So you'll see I've got netherrack, fire, and a cauldron here, and this actually purifies water for us, which is really, really nice. And since 2.9.1, we can drink straight from the cauldron. Now, it does hurt you, because you're basically drinking boiling water from a cauldron with a fire underneath it. It does hurt you when you drink this, um, but it will be purified water. So what we do, just grab a bucket, slap it in the cauldron, and we can drink straight from the cauldron if we want to. However, we can also fill our canteen with this. Whether it be a leather canteen, whether it be uh, an iron canteen, we can fill our canteens from this. So just pop some water in it with a bucket, and then fill it up, and then we can take this out with us. Uh, canteens can also be put in your tool belt if you have one, so you can take one or two. Uh, you can take a couple with you and stick them in your tool belt. Uh, another late game solution is Stone of the Sea, or sort of mid game, late game. You can pick this up. Uh, it depends how much fishing you do. Um, I have done a guide on how to get Stone of the Sea. Uh, long story short, for this video specifically, it just stops you from getting thirst or parasites. So I actually just tried to give myself the thirsty buff so I could be thirsty and drink, but it, <laughs> I'm immune to it, so I can't. Um, there we go. So I'm going to pop this back on now, and it's impossible for me to get thirst or parasites. So once you get Stone of the Sea, you don't ever have to worry about water again. I don't actually really use this very often personally myself, but it is an option that's available to you. I almost forgot to mention that you can also drink rain directly. If it's raining and you're thirsty, point directly up. It has to be literally directly up and you can't go any further and just crouch and right click into the rain. If I aim a little bit down, oh, it's still drinking, that's still drinking. Oh, you don't even need to be directly up. There, okay, there, stop drinking. So you just got to aim directly upwards, crouch, and right click, and you'll drink the rain. As well as all of the above, guys, there's also a bunch of different types of juices and various bits and pieces that I personally haven't used. You know, early game, you might be able to loot these from some structures. So if you see some juices in early game structures, I know there's a lot of juice in, like, uh, friendly strongholds, as an example. I have lots of bottled juice in the second floor, I guess. It's the first floor uh, with the four different rooms with the chests in them. They often have food, uh, maybe a little bit of iron armor or something. But they also often contain uh, bottles of juice. Grab them and drink them for your early game solutions. Um, you can also take bottles, you know, again, same same structure. You can take empty bottles and there's juice in the basement, the secret basement, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But basically, long story short, I don't really bother with the juices very often, to be honest. There's a lot of different solutions. The Dragon Canteen, once you get that, you don't need anything else. Um, the Dragon Canteen can also go in a tool belt as well, which is really nice. Um, but just an example of some of the really pog juices that are out there. The Glistening Melon Juice is really, really good. and actually gives you a full eight thirst bars back when you drink one Glistening Melon Juice. So, pretty pog. 
Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I go live on my Twitch channel pretty much every day except Monday and Friday I usually take for editing. It would be great to see some of you guys there. I also run an RLCraft 2.9 SMP server you'd be welcome to join. That's run from the Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash some nuts guy. You get on the SMP, you got to jump on the Twitch channel, earn 3,000 channel points, unlock the whitelist through the channel point redemptions, and then you'll be able to join us. Alrighty, guys. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.